you guys what's happening so just got this thing just showed up in the mail and actually I love these air filters so if you're in the market for an air filter for your RC car I think these are the best um, the motor savers and what I like about them is they actually have a uh, this one actually has the outer housing on it but what I like about them is you have your filter in there and then you have like a it's like a screen mesh so that definitely helps out with like dirt collection but plus they also make an outer screen you can buy too but uh, yeah I need something for my Traxxas I have the Traxxas clone or whatever you want to call it um, yeah this is actually one I, an extra filter, air filter I had I bought this thing on, on offer up you know but I'm kind of restoring it but I didn't want to use this crappy air filter so this thing was like uh, I think it's like 16 or 17 dollars the deluxe version with the extra like water shield splash shield but uh, I'm gonna get it on we'll see how it looks right, so the thing is actually specifically for a rotary carb that's why it's such a small hole but I, it's it's a tight fit so I'm gonna have to put it on a socket and let it stretch out for a couple of minutes I mean you heat it up soften the, soften the rubber up there um, yeah so if you can't get this thing on uh, you can also just use like a heat gun and a socket so I got a socket about the same diameter so it's a lot easier to get it on there. That's the actual splash shield right there. So, just I guess it spins around, I guess? I don't know. It seems like that would be, uh, it makes a rattling noise. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit here for about an hour or two, come back. I'm gonna warm this thing up a little bit here. All right. Touch it with my hand, it's gonna be hot. Alright, get that thing on there if I can. Ah, yeah, barely. Yeah, it's a tight fit. There we go. Yeah, over time, it's gonna work itself out. I mean, it's gonna become looser, but man, I, I think it's tight. Make sure it doesn't hit the spur gear. Alright, looks pretty cool. Let's get a closer look. Alright. Yeah, I just wanna make sure it doesn't hit that spur gear. Put a zip tie on it when I'm done with it, but actually I'm not gonna. I'm actually gonna be changing the engine out, so probably not gonna get too crazy with the current around there, at least for now. All right, guys, cool, awesome product. Yeah, I love these things.